Hello hi everyone. Welcome back to our Plotter Google Maps tutorial series. In this first episode, we will kick things off by providing you with a roadmap for the entire series and guide you through the essential steps to set up a Plotter project with Google Maps integration. First, let's take a look at our roadmap for this tutorial series. We have a lot of exciting topics to cover, including overview of the Google Maps API console, setting up a platter project with Google Maps API, integrating Google Maps into our platter project, adding multiple markers to our Google map animating the camera to move to any position on the map converting coordinates and using geocoder displaying the user's current location on a marker implementing Google Maps autocomplete places API adding custom markers uh, drawing polygons on the map, working with pol polylines and adding routes, um, showing network images as marker, and the last, styling the styling and customizing our Google Map. So, uh, before we dive into coding, uh, let's briefly review the Google Maps API console. Uh, where we will obtain the necessary API key for our project. So let's go to the uh, console.cloud.google.com then uh, the Google console page will be open. So you will need to have a Google account to access the console. Once you are in so you will be getting a screen like this so uh, uh, it also requires uh, some kinds of billing but it is not required uh, if you do not add your billing uh, account just cancel that when it pops up on the screen so in this console uh, we need to create a project uh, first so in your case if you are new to the console uh, you will not uh, being uh, you will not see uh, these things in my case I have already worked on some projects so I, I have created uh, some projects so that is the reason the projects are being shown to my uh, screen so if you are new to a console just uh, click to the new project so you will be seeing this uh, just uh, just just add a project name which will be google map Rutters 2 and here 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 just tutorial so here you go now our uh, project is being created uh, and uh, it takes just a few seconds so you see the project has been um, created now just select that project which you have just created uh, right now so I will be just closing these so now uh, to use the uh, Google Map API or Google Map into our uh, project, we need to enable the uh, SDK of Google Map SDK for Android. Uh, so I will be just uh, coming into API and services section and en enabled APIs and services.
so here um, I will be just uh, enabling my Google Maps API for uh, Android so in this video we will be just configuring um, maps for our Android platform if you want to do that for iOS so you can also uh, enable that package too so in my case I will be just uh, using the maps for Android so I will be just enabling uh, this uh, so I will be just clicking on enable it takes few seconds um, to enable it so here you go the notification icon is also loading so it means that our our uh, Google map uh, SDK has been installed so from this console uh, we need to copy uh, our uh, this API key and just integrate it with our uh, flutter uh, project so I will be just uh, copying my API key so please do not share uh, the API key with uh, others so it will be out of quota so that is the reason uh, use your own API so uh, we are done with the console and generating API and enabling um, my map SDK for Android. So when other uh, videos or the further videos we require some SDKs or places API to be enabled. So we will be just coming back in our console and enable uh, those uh, uh, APIs in the console so for now we are done with the Google Cloud console and now I will be uh, just creating a, a new Flutter project and integrate Google map into it so let's just jump into our um, VS code and I will be just creating a new project uh, which you know I will be pressing ctrl shift and P so here uh, a pop-ups come and here I will be just creating clicking on new project application and selecting the folder and just naming it Google Google Maps tutorials tutorials yeah so uh, it also takes some time so for that uh, we will be just going to our Google and just uh, searching for uh, Google Maps Flutter so here we will be just getting the top link so just click on that you will be uh, redirect to pub.dev and Google Maps Flutter uh, package so be sure to install this package which is uh, created by flutter.dev so just go to the installing tab and uh, copy this uh, dependency and just 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 go to your project and paste it into your pubspec.yaml file under the dependencies so here i will be just pasting it and i will be just saving this and here when exit code zero comes it means that uh, my uh, flutter package has been successfully installed in my uh, flutter projects see exit code zero come so now just 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 let's let's go to the uh, documentation of this package so here uh, for the Android uh, uh, it needs some settings so in the Android hip build gradle uh, the minimum SDK version must be 20 so let's just uh, go and check that um, our SDK version so let's just where is that mm. 
um, yeah we will be just uh, uh, pasting this minimum SDK version 20 uh, to our minimum SDK version so and again we will be coming in the next date this means that it will only be available for user uh, that run uh, okay specify your API key and the application manifest so the, we, we need to specify um, how our Google console API key we have just created and just copied so now I will be just going uh, back and I will be just uh, defining my metadata um, under the manifest under the application in my Android manifest dot excel so I will be just copying this and I will be just going to my uh, source main and Android manifest and here 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 I will be just creating meta data here and just pasting it and I will be uh, just providing uh, my API key here we have just copied from here so uh, I will be just copying it again and I will paste it uh, here and I will be just saving it and now uh, I will uh, run the application into my emulator if it successfully runs the uh, uh, on the emulator without any error it means that our Google map has been successfully integrated uh, into our flutter project so here I will be just um, starting my emulator so it will take um, some time so let's see okay and here I will be just checking yeah uh, and these uh, settings are for high us you can also configure it from um, here by just reading the documentation for the readme file so yeah we are done manifest and make it metadata yeah let's see how yeah so now let's just run it so let's wait for some time that it will uh, take some time uh, in the very very first time when we uh, run our platter project it takes uh, uh, some time so let's wait and see um, hopefully it will uh, run yeah great um, our application is running on our emulator without uh, giving any error it means that uh, we have successfully configured our uh, Google Maps uh, API into our Flutter project. So that's uh, wraps up part one of our Flutter Google Maps tutorial series. Uh, in this episode, we have uh, introduced our roadmap, covered the Google Maps API console, and shown you how to set up your Flutter project for Google Maps integration. In the next video, we will dive deeper into the integration process and start building our map interface. If you found this video helpful, please like and share to our channel to stay updated with the upcoming episodes. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of the exciting content uh, we have planned. So until then, Happy coding with Flutter.